Yesterday, uh, we uh, described the importance of a philosophy, right? Why you must have a philosophy in your business. And based on that philosophy, how you develop a mission for your product, your service, your business. And then how to develop a, a vision and some uh, long term, short term, and medium term action steps. Then we said the next thing to do is to analyze your business. How to analyze your business? Right. We also learned the design thinking process. So, what is the first step? Now, we learned several models of design thinking, right? Several models. We learned the, the, the four step process, the nine step process, right? We learned several uh, models. But when you study all of these models of uh, design thinking, we see a common thread, right? There are basically five steps. What are the five steps? First one is to understand. understand. Right? The, the most important thing is to understand the current reality. As is. Understand. So, once you understand, then you can, you, then you can challenge. The second step is to challenge. That means you start asking questions. How can we create a better future? Right? So, understand, challenge. And when you challenge, or when you ask a question, like, you know, how can we create a better future? Now you have to go to the third step, which is idea. So now you have to develop some ideas, new ideas. So idea uh, requires you brainstorm ideas, then you cluster those ideas, and you develop concept out of those ideas, and you will have several answers to one question, several solutions to one question. What do you do now? Sorry? Validate. validate. Exactly. Then you have to validate. Then you must have a methodology to validate so that you can choose or select the best answer to your question, the best solution. What is the last step? step. Scale. You implement and monitor. Right? And you scale. If it is working, you scale. So scale. So five steps. So the first step is understand and we said one of the best business tools that you can use to understand your existing business is what the business model canvas it's a very simplified uh, tool that we can use now we looked at the various uh, elements in a business model and we said we can dissect a business into nine elements right so, what is the first element uh, in a business? So, the customer is the first element. What is the second element? Offerings. Yeah, offerings. Then we have the channels. Then we have the relationships. Good. Then we have the processes. And then the Resources, partners. Then we can understand the cost structures and also the revenue streams. And now we can do a PA. Right? When you want to do a business plan, now it is uh, you can use this uh, canvas to systematically structure your business plan. Yes or no? Right? So your business plan. Uh, can actually use these different elements uh, in the different sections of your business plan. Okay, now using the business model canvas and our design thinking process, let's start with step one, which is understand. Step one and the first element.